guys, I have a new video for you today. Today I'm gonna test this robot lawnmower and it has a sweeper kit. This is the Mamotion Yuka 1500. Mamotion sent me this for free to test out, but I'm not getting paid to make the video. So let's start unboxing and test this nice mower. So everything you need to operate this mower should be in this box. And it's quite heavy, so that's a good sign. My first impression of this mower is that it's actually bigger than I thought. And this is what you get in the box. It is everything you need to operate the mower. It comes with instructions and all this is very easy to install. Now let's unbox that sweeper kit. And that's the extra battery. And it's gonna have some additional weight in the front of the mower. So this is basically what you get in the sweeper kit. And you can also use the mower with dual battery without the sweeper. So that's a nice upgrade. And the sweeper kit came with this nice manual. And you just f find the right plug. And make sure none of the cables are binding up under the lid or the screws. And you just use common sense when you tighten this down. So now this should be ready for a setup. So the next step now will be to install the charging station and the RTK station. And it came with these screws. It did came with an extension cord and a power unit for RTK station, but I don't need that. So now it's ready to connect the Yuka to the charger. I have a green light on the charger and the RTK station is green. So it's a nice and clean setup. So once you sign up in the app, you have to add the new mower. And I also think you have to add the RTK station. To connect the mower and the RTK station was so easy. Before I start mapping, I want to do some upgrades. Upgrading. And I'm gonna check if it's any updates for RTK station as well. Okay, so that was successful. So the Yuka is now fully charged and it's ready to do the mapping. And now I need to mark out all the no-go zones. Start mapping a no-go zone. No-go zone mapping completed. And now we just mark out the other no-go zones. It's so easy and convenient to mark out all these zones. And I marked out all the no-go zones in this area. And now I have to make a dump zone. Okay, so I'm gonna try the first mow with this mower. And I have adjusted the height to four. I might have to change that, but we will see. So now I can just hit start. Start working. I can already see the bag is filling up. Oh, it's gonna go dump. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm 
And it's going back to where it left. I just mapped out a new area to test the sweeper. So you guys doing a great job. I'm having the height at 5 and this is some pretty tall and wet grass. You can see it missed something but you have to go over a couple of times. Coming in for another dump. That's so cool. So usually he just ramps into the pile, so let's see what he's doing now. comes again. And it does a good job of collecting the grass. I will try it without the sweeper as well. I think I will run it mostly without the sweeper. Although the sweeper works very good. I have used the mower for some weeks now and I gotta say I'm really impressed with this mower. It really cuts the lawn nice and you get these super accurate lines in your lawn. But 
I gotta say the coolest thing with this mower is the long printing mode. It can print text and emojis in a long, so easy. And you can write whatever you want. Or use some of the emojis. So that's so cool. And now as we're getting into the fall, I will make another video with Yuka collecting some leaves. So make sure you subscribe if you want to watch that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.